Man, I'm so tired. I only got six hours of sleep last night. Six hours is a good day for me. I usually only get four hours of sleep. <laughs> That's nothing. I only slept two hours last night. Two hours? How are you guys not tired? Uh, sleep isn't really that important. You snooze, you lose. Yeah, I prefer to stay up at night studying rather than waste my time sleeping. Hey, don't we have a test for this class tomorrow? It'll be an easy A for me. I don't know, guys. Studies show that around 7 to 8 hours of sleep each night is optimal for test taking, and it keeps your mind healthy. Any more or any less, and your cognitive functions will begin to suffer. Hmm, what time is it? 11.30? Guess I should catch some sleep if I want to do good on this test tomorrow. It's already 3 o'clock. Well, I'll just stay up for another hour, then 4 hours of sleep should be good. Oh man, what time is it? 4 o'clock? I'll just stay up for a few more hours. Well, good luck, guys. What? I failed. But I even stayed up all night studying for it. Oh, man, I gotta see. This test was impossible. Hey, Tyson, what, what score did you get? Oh, uh, I got a 96. It was a little lengthy, but I was able to focus throughout the problems. Probably because I got a good night's sleep this time. You know, not getting a good night's sleep is more than just not being able to think straight. It's also associated with serious health risks. For example, people who don't get sufficient sleep have a one and a half times higher risk of obesity and are more prone to things like diabetes, cancer, and heart disease. I really think you should try to get more sleep. It's healthy for you.